Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall see question from December 2011 consisting of three marks. The question says, for which of the following primes p does the polynomial x raised to power 4 plus x plus 6 have a root of multiplicity greater than 1 over a field of characteristic p? And you are given four values of p. So we need to tell out of these four values uh, f which uh, field has a root which is appearing more than once that means it, it, it could be a root one time not one, one time twice thrice or four times because this polynomial is of degree four that means it may have at most four roots right so uh, first let us see they are saying field of characteristic p so that means uh, our field could be a finite field right uh, which is of this form zp right so for p is equal to 2 we have field z2 and in z2 we only have uh, that means the integer modulo 2 and it only have element 0 and 1 because uh, for any prime p we have element 0 1 2 up to p minus 1 so p here is 2 so in this case we have 1 over here similarly for 3 we have element 0 1 and 2 in this we have element 0 1 3 4 1 2 3 4 and in 7 we have elements up to 6 right and whichever integer you take then you divide that integer by this p and whatever is this p whatever is the remainder is the answer so the only possible remainders when you divide by 2 are 0 and 1 similarly the only possible remainders when you divide by 7 they are 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 right so uh, there are two methods to solve this uh, question right the first one is based on formula and this is short i recommend you to proceed with this it states that a polynomial over a field has a root with multiplicity greater than 1 if and only if this is also a root of its derivative. So now, uh, for instance, we can uh, see this uh, like this. Um, suppose our polynomial has a root which is a double root. That means it is appearing twice. So here I, I have taken the root to be a. That means if a, x is equal to a is a root, that, uh, that means x minus a is a factor of the polynomial. And if this is appearing twice, that means we have two factors of this form. That means uh, something of x minus a whole square we have, right? And gx is other factors in the polynomial. For example, we have x minus b, x minus c and so on, right? So it could be like this. And I have collectively named them to be gx. So now we can take the derivative of this. So now you see there are two factors. So here we'll apply the product rule for uh, for taking the derivatives. So firstly, we'll take the derivative of first term that would be two into x minus a. Then according to chain rule, derivative of x minus a would be one. So this is the derivative of x minus a whole square gx as such. And then this x minus a whole square as such, the derivative of gx is g dash x. So now you clearly see that when you replace x by a, you'll see that we obtain 0. That means a is also a root of f dash x. So that means we know that for a polynomial having double root or root which have multiplicity greater than 1, so it is also a root of a derivative. right? So let us apply this result. For first option, before that, uh, just see our polynomial is given to be this. So its derivative would be x raised to power 4 would be 4x cube and the derivative of x would be 1, derivative of 6 would be 0. So this is the derivative, this is the function. Now we'll look at option A. For option A, the corresponding field with characteristic 2 would be this z2. So the only elements are 0 and 1. So now to check for root, we'll substitute the 0 onto the polynomial and its derivative if it is zero of both then we will conclude uh, it has multiplicity to otherwise not so when you substitute zero onto here you get zero power four plus zero plus six that is six and uh, when you divide the six by two you'll get the remainder as zero so obviously this is a root in mod two of this polynomial so now let's check for derivative of f dash zero 
the derivative is this when you replace x by 0 you will only get 1 now when you divide 1 by 2 you will get the remainder as 1 only and which is not equal to 0 therefore this is not a root so this option 0 is discarded for this field right let us now look for 1 so f of 1 would come out to be 8 when you t divide 8 by 2 you will get 0 as the remainder therefore this is a root similarly when you substitute this 1 onto the derivative you will get 5 when you divide 5 by 2 you will get the remainder as 1 so this is not a root therefore in this uh, both the cases we do not obtain a root let us see the second option for second option we have the field as integer modulo 3 so in, on the only elements of this field are 0 1 and 2 so let's check uh, 1 by 1 let's substitute f of 0 so again we will get 0 and when you divide the 6 by 3 you will get the remainder as 0 so therefore this is a root uh, again you put 0 onto the derivative you will get 1 when you divide 1 by 3 you will get the remainder as 0 therefore this is not a root so this option is discarded so now let's uh, look at 1 when you substitute f of 1 onto here you get 8 when you take mod 3 of this you will get 0 uh, sorry 2 as the remainder right so uh, this is not a root so we do not need to check for the derivative because this is this isn't a root once right so now uh, this is also discarded let us look at op uh, this 2 so we'll calculate f of 2 it comes out to be 24 now when you divide 24 by 3 the remainder comes out to be 0 therefore this is a root right because you can write 24 as 3 into 8 plus 0 so the remainder here is 0 uh, so this is a root again f dash of 2 would be 33 when you divide 33 by 3 you will get the remainder as 0 so we, here we get double root therefore in this case for this field we obtain a root which is appearing more than once of this for this polynomial therefore we say that z3 has a root x is equal to 2 with mul multiplicity 2 so now you see this is a single correct option therefore no need to check for other fields therefore we say that option b is the correct option right so option b is the correct option this is one fair method to solve such question but uh, now what if you do not remember this uh, result in that case you should not stop you should uh, look for another method right let's discuss it this method is somewhat longer but is more insightful and it is also be appeal it would be appealing to those who uh, say from where does this result come so let's look at this method for first option our field was z2 right and polynomial was x raised to power 4 plus x plus 6 so we'll first check for 0 so 0 comes out to be root as in previous case now 0 is a root that means x minus 0 is a factor so now we can divide this polynomial uh, x raised to power 4 plus x plus 6 the given polynomial fx by this x minus 0 right so this is the usual division of the polynomials where uh, just you you just take care that you are in mod 2 so let's uh, look at 1 carefully so uh, here when you when you multiply this x by x cube you will get x raised to power 4 so you cancel this out you are left with these two right and then to get uh, this you will multiply by 1 so plus 1 over here one, x into 1 is x and uh, 6 as such so you will get the remainder as 6 but now because you are in mod 2 so 6 divided by 2 gives the remainder 0 so therefore we obtain 0 in this case right so uh, the factors of this polynomial are x into x cube plus 1 so now call this factor as g of x this is one factor right uh, due to this factor we get x is equal to 0 as root so now uh, if this factor also has x is equal to 0 as a root then we conclude that, that this polynomial f of x has double root right it has x is equal to 0 as a root twice so let's uh, see this g of 0 would be 
zero cube plus one, so it would be one, which is not equal to zero mod two. Therefore, this is not a root uh, of uh, this polynomial twice. It is a root with multiplicity one, right? So zero is discarded. Let's look at one. So f of z f of one we'll calculate f of one. f of one is eight, which is equal into zero mod two, right? So this is a root once. Therefore, x minus one is a root, and x minus one is a factor. If x minus one is a factor, you can again divide this polynomial, and see at the last, you will be getting eight. Now, because you are in mod two in Z two, therefore, when when you divide eight by two, you will get the remainder as zero. So, therefore, we have the remainder as zero. Therefore, this polynomial can be factored into this polynomial. Multiplied by this polynomial, right? So this is it, and uh, so let's call this polynomial as g of x, and we'll look whether x is equal to one is the root of this polynomial. So we'll check it. It doesn't come out to be the root of this polynomial. Therefore, we say x is equal to one is a root of this polynomial only once, right? Therefore, this option is also discarded. So option A is incorrect. Let's move ahead. Let's check this for option B. For option B, our field is Z three, right? So we'll again move by the similar process. F of zero, F of zero comes out to be zero mod three. Therefore, this is a factor. Now, in the previous case also, we calculated what what is the factorization of this polynomial when x minus zero is a factor. Therefore, this is g x in the present case. So g of zero is Not equal to zero mod three, so this is root only once. So uh, this zero has been discarded. Let's look at one. So f of one comes out to be two mod three. Therefore, this is discarded, and no need to check for further, right? Because we do not have x is equal to one as a root even once, right? So now let let's look at f of two. So uh, in this case, just substitute two into the given polynomial. You will see it is it comes out to be zero mod three. Therefore, we are sure that it is a root once. To see, it is a root uh, more than once. Uh, we have to divide the polynomial by x minus two because two is the root. Therefore, x minus two would be a factor. If it is a factor, it would divide the polynomial completely. So when you divide this polynomial again by using the same method, you will reach at twenty-four. Now because we are in mod three right now in Z three, therefore when you divide twenty-four by three, you will get the remainder as zero. So this is a uh, factor of this. It divides this poly. This factor divides this polynomial completely. Therefore, this polynomial could be written as the product of these two. So this is what we have done over here. So let's call this one as g of x. So we'll again check for g of two. Now, if g of two comes out to be zero, which comes out to be thirty-three, so when you uh, divide thirty-three by three, you'll get the remainder as zero. Therefore, this comes out to be the root. Therefore, x minus two is a double root of f x. So in this case, we can conclude that option B is the correct option, right? And there is no need to check for option C and option D. right i hope this helps uh, although this is a longer method but yet it will give you an insight about the uh, calculations in this uh, integer modulo p right so that is it for this video the only correct option is b thanks for watching